Hello, my name is Alex and I am a patient support guide at Afreza Assist. I am so excited to teach you more about how to use Afreza, the only ultra-rapid acting inhaled insulin for adults living with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. I know inhaling your mealtime insulin is probably a new concept to grasp, but together we're going to learn how to properly inhale. In addition to watching this video, please refer to the instructions for use found in your Afreza box or online. Before we start, I want you to know that our team at Afreza Assist is always here to help you throughout your Afreza journey. So if you're concerned about affording your prescription, want help navigating insurance, or have questions after you try your first couple of Afreza doses, we can help you get the answers you need. Just give us a call. Patient support guides do not give medical advice, but can help you organize specific medical questions for your doctor. All right, let's get started. Afreza is an ultra-rapid acting inhaled insulin for adults living with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. The insulin is a dry powder supplied in three color-coded cartridges, which offer different sized doses. In addition to being color-coded, these cartridges are clearly marked with the number of units at the bottom. For example, this is a titration box, which includes blue cartridges containing four Afreza units, green cartridges containing eight Afreza units, and yellow cartridges containing 12 Afreza units. Inside your box, you'll find one small box, which contains two Afreza inhalers, foil packages, each of which contain two blister cards of 15 insulin cartridges. The foil packages and strips of cartridges are marked with the color and number of units. And a printed medication guide and instructions for use. Before taking Afreza, you'll want to review your notes from your last appointment to see what you and your healthcare provider discussed as an appropriate starting dose and what your target blood sugar range is. Like all insulin therapy, you may need to work with your doctor during the first few weeks to adjust your dose up or down based on your blood sugar levels and how Afreza works for you. Now let's go through the instructions to properly inhale Afreza, which will look like this. I'll break the inhalation down into four steps and walk through each one in detail. Step one, select the cartridge. Because Afreza enters the bloodstream in less than a minute and starts controlling blood sugar in about 12 minutes, you'll take Afreza right before you begin eating. Once you open one of the foil packages, you'll find two blister cards perforated to tear off into small strips of three insulin cartridges. You'll first get your cartridge out of the strip by pushing the rounded plastic so that the cartridge breaks through the foil. Check the color and number on your foil strip or cartridges to ensure the correct dosage is selected. Step two, load the cartridge. After taking the inhaler out of its plastic wrapper, you'll notice that there are two parts of the inhaler. On the bottom, there is a short, flat, broad purple base that will let you set the inhaler flat on the table if needed. On the top, there is a thin white mouthpiece that extends out longer than the base with a purple removable mouthpiece cover. You can remember that the white part of the inhaler goes up towards the clouds. You'll want to do the purple pinch to hold the base of the inhaler level while lifting the mouthpiece up to a vertical position. This will open the inhaler. You should see or feel a cavity inside, which is where the cartridge will fit just like a puzzle piece. You'll hold the cartridge with the white cup down and place it in the inhaler so the pointed end lines up with the pointed end in the inhaler. Next, we'll close the top part of the inhaler back down. You may feel or hear a snap. That snap was the insulin cup sliding into position, becoming like a salt shaker. It's important that after this step, to not turn your inhaler upside down, shake it, put it in your pocket, or drop it, as that could lead to a loss of powder. So you'll want to do this step right before you're ready to inhale. Remember to keep the inhaler level once loaded. Step three, inhale a Freza. Now it's time to inhale. Take off the purple mouthpiece cover by pulling the very thin tab towards you. Before bringing your inhaler to your mouth, exhale to get rid of the air that's already in your lungs. Then place the mouthpiece in your mouth with the inhaler tilted down towards your chin. Form a seal with your lips around the mouthpiece. Take a deep breath, approximately three seconds, like you would do a yoga breath or when your doctor is checking your breathing with a stethoscope. Once you've inhaled, hold your breath for a couple of seconds or as long as is comfortable before resuming your normal breathing. Step four. Remove the cartridge. Once you're done, open the inhaler, remove the used cartridge, and throw it away in regular household trash. If your prescribed dose requires more than 12 units, you will need to use more than one cartridge to get your right dose. Since Afreza is an inhaled powder, it's not uncommon to experience cough at the beginning of your treatment. In our clinical studies, cough was a common side effect. 
Cough was mild and typically declined with continued use after one to four weeks. As a suggestion, taking a Frezza at room temperature and having a sip of water before and after inhalation may help. That said, if you develop a persistent or reoccurring cough or have difficulties breathing while using a Frezza, contact your healthcare provider. So just to recap, using a Frezza requires four steps. Step one, select the cartridge for your dose. Step two, load the cartridge into the inhaler. Step three, inhale deeply through your inhaler. Step four, remove the used cartridge and throw it away. Okay, that's it. If you have any specific medical questions, please remember to ask your healthcare provider. If you have additional questions about Afreza, please schedule a training by calling us at Afreza Assist. You've got this. Afreza is a rapid-acting inhaled insulin used to control high blood sugar in adults with diabetes mellitus. Afreza can cause serious side effects including sudden lung problems, low potassium, and heart failure. Afreza is not for patients with chronic lung disease such as asthma or COPD. Tell your doctor if you smoke, recently stopped smoking, have ever had kidney or liver problems, a history of lung cancer, or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Most common side effects are low blood sugar, cough, and sore throat. Severe low blood sugar can be fatal. Do not replace basal insulin with Afreza. Afreza is not for use to treat diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not take Afreza if you are allergic to insulin. Talk to your doctor before changing your Afreza dose. Blood sugar may need to be checked more frequently. Please see accompanying full prescribing information for Afreza. You are encouraged to report side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088.